All right, what is going on party people? What a crazy day. I was planning to do another video, but I had to scrap it, all right? So today we're gonna to talk about the Google algo leak. So please, please, please comment Google leak for the YouTube algorithm. Um, there's a lot of things to go through today, but you know me, I'm still gonna do the creatine. So for the next minute or so, I'm gonna be reporting my numbers and then I'll jump into things, all right? so. What I'll be doing is I'll be eating creatine plus reporting my numbers from the day before. Just purely, be, you know, I have to do it. It's just, uh, we are creatures of habit, all right? So if you can't handle it, skip using the YouTube chapters down below and you'll be A-OK, -okay, all right? So to the real ones who are still around, how's it going? Uh, I just spent the last hour or so. I woke up at 7.30, so, oh, two hours, just combing through things trying to um, find the main takeaways for uh, SEOs like who focus on making money. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to do my best. Um, this is only a snapshot of how I feel at this moment. Please note. So things could, could change. Don't take anything as absolutes. And yeah, here we go. Great. So yesterday's numbers, we had a superb day. One of the best days since the clapping. So yesterday we did 5k in total revenue. That's up $700 from the day before we had Amazon at 2667 Mediavine at $900 and only fans at $1470. Um, probably because yesterday was a holiday in the U S so the, that's honestly mostly it. But um, yeah, let's take a look at the granular numbers now. Cool. So yesterday ordered revenue, 49.4K. Wow. That's about half of its former glory, but we'll take that. All right. We'll take it. We'll take that all day, every day, plus on Sundays. Yesterday was a Monday, but we'll take that. Um, so Levanta was $80. So eh, it's all right. It's decent. It's decent. And Let's just jump right into today's episode, all right? All right, so if you go to YouTube, sign up for the first link in the description, the build in public sheet. You get sent this sheet, and um, I highly, highly recommend you just follow along today. You sign up for that sheet, go into episode 197, and yeah, that's it. You can get my numbers plus everything we talk about today. There's going to be a lot, all right? So here we go. <clears throat> I reference three documents, one from Glenn A. Alsop, um, Viper Chill on Twitter, one from iPoll Rank, and one from SparkToro. So I believe those are the SEO OGs. And a huge special thanks to the advice community. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to Marcus, who's in there. Um, they honestly they downloaded. So there's a local advice like repository of the code base in case it ever gets taken down. But it's probably going to stay up because there's many people who made uh, copies of it. But just in case, you know, and everyone's scrambling to like decode it. And, you know, when, when you're trying to decode it as a single person, it's much harder than as a group. So they've already combed through it. This was live for about 12 hours. I was sleeping. I was out. Um, didn't see the notification. A uh, couple quick plugs besides that. If you're new here, follow me on X. Follow me subscribe to me on YouTube. I do videos every single day. But anyways, let's talk about my takeaways. These are just my takeaways from uh, reading the three documents and things could change. All right. I, I didn't go through the code base myself. Uh, I could, but that would take too long. So I wanted to jump straight into the takeaways. And maybe after I go through the code base, my, my, uh, my thoughts would change. All right, here we go. CTR and Chrome data is confirmed to be used. Um, we already knew that. It's as black hat, S gray hat SEOs, as SEOs who actually do the work. This was already a thing. We knew that, all right? Domain authority is a thing. That was obvious. It's just nice that it's confirmed because Google used to deny these two. Chrome data and CTR 
they claimed that it wasn't being used, but they, it absolutely is. Domain authority, we already knew that. If, if domain authority wasn't a thing, Forbes wouldn't be number one for everything, all right? So there's a sandbox. What does that mean? In the past, Google has said there's no such thing as a sandbox. And what that means is if you have a new site, uh, to get out of the sandbox, it requires three months' time before. And they claimed it wasn't a thing, but it absolutely is a thing. Um, if it wasn't a thing, my rank and rents wouldn't rank a month later. So it's exactly a month for my rank and rents in some cases. And all three of them go like page two to page two, page two, I think number one. It's, it's crazy. So the sandbox, the time, I don't know, but there absolutely is one. <clears throat> But based off of my knowledge uh, and my testing, recent testing, it's about a month. Uh, before, it was longer, but I'm guessing it's quicker now. And in the future, I can see this actually not be a thing. So as of right now, May 28th, 2024, it's still a thing. And I, my guess from my testing, it's a month. They use quality rater feedback. We knew that already. What that means is... Uh, they hire external contractors at a cheap hourly rate to comb through internet, the internet at, uh, with high traffic pages, and then they rate the quality of the page. So they go through a checklist like, all right, this page has a author. Is it trustworthy? Is there an about page? So on and so forth. It's just like the EAT things, but we already knew that. So I, I talked about this in the past. What that means, uh, is. In the past, I said EAT is not an algorithmic thing. It is a Google Raider thing. So I think this confirms the fact that algorithmically, Google can't figure out EAT, but the quality raters do so far, and maybe it could be automated in the future. But as of now, uh, you can rank an empty page on a high domain authority site. And then once Google Raider comes in and says, this page is shit, it'll derank. So that's, that's just how it works right now. As of now, it might change in the future. Uh, more clicks on links equals more valuable. So what that means is if you have a page, links on pages with traffic is more valuable than without traffic. We already knew that. All right. We knew that because that's harder to game. It's better quality. But what we didn't know was the more clicks on links, means it's more valuable. What that means is not only do you, should you look for links on pages with traffic, you should also have links that are earlier in the article, like maybe in the first paragraph. So it gets more traffic because those get more clicked. Um, yeah, I think that's a pretty good way of summarizing it. Link spam velocity signals. Um, so what this was is, is trying to negate the fact of negative SEO. What that means is let's say a uh, thousand links are built on a single page on your competitor with exact match anchors. If you build too many, Google will just ignore them. How I take this is if you're going to neg your, um, competitor, do it at a slower rate, like a super slow rate, like drip feed that across instead of a thousand a day, you can do two a day or three a day for a year. And that will clap that shit to infinity, like negative infinity. But I'm not going to speak too much about this. I talk about this in the advice community. My experiments are very conclusive, whether it works or not. Google only uses the last 20 changes for giving URL one analyzing links. This is pretty interesting. I don't know how to interpret this. Uh, I previously discovered how Google's file machine is capable of storing pages da, 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 way back, similar to way back machine. Okay. Hmm. So would that mean something for niche edits? I don't think so. only uses the last 20 changes. So does that mean after, if it changes like more than 20 times, the 21st time is not kept? 
Does that mean if the homepage changes too much, what does this mean for expired domains? What do you guys think? I, I, I can't come to a conclusion live yet, but what do you guys think about this? This is actually pretty interesting because this impacts not only expired and auction domains, but also niche edits. Uh, but from my testing, niche edits fully work. So I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, homepage, uh, homepage page rank is considered for all pages. Everyone knew this. We knew this with that. How I interpret it is the site authority. Like the homepage site authority is where most of the juice goes to, right? Let's take Forbes, for example, Forbes has an F load. I can't swear on this one because I don't want to get like. Uh, I, I want reach on this one on the homepage of Forbes, hello links, right? Hello links. But what that means is the subdirectory also benefits from that. Hence why I tell you guys when building links, I really, really, really value homepage links with that. Just, just build links to the homepage. It, all of your sites that are indirectly benefit from it. So well, directly, uh, uh, it shows that this is directly. So you just get a f- load of backlinks on the homepage and yeah. And homepage trust is also an issue. Um, quality and relevance of your links instead of volume. I actually go against this. I believe that um, if the links are not trusted, they're simply ignored. So you should just go for a volume, but we could, we could discuss this. We could debate this all we want. This is my interpretation. You can make your own. Feel free. Font size of terms and links matters. We 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 talked about this uh, before. Like when creating a link, if you bold and underline it, this was mentioned in the past. Like this is way back. Like this guy says 2006. And yeah, it, it was like way, way back, like 2010s when we, we talked about it. So you should not try to, what that means is you can't mask or cloak links, links that don't show up. If they're like, I don't know, like white or the same color of the background, it, it, it makes a huge difference because it should match like the rest of the article. Um, or it shouldn't match. It should stand out. A link should stand out. And not only that, but like, as mentioned earlier, like clicks on links matter. So you should make more focus, like be clicking your links. Know what I mean, all right. Anyways, disavow wasn't talked about. But, um, I think this is, if they have a spam velocity signal, that means they have a negative signal as well. Character length not talked about. So what that means is Google doesn't care about a uh, number of words on a page. And I think Google does a pretty good job of figuring out what the page is about, even if it's short. And this thing I wanted to highlight, cause I got a lot of flack on Twitter when I first launched revive.so. Motherfuckers out here told, telling me that dates aren't important. Are you joking? Guys, I've ran this test on over like 100 sites. And it's not just one site on this day. Like it just refreshed and then Google refreshes and our rankings fly up. It's across 100 sites. Dates are very, very important. Freshness is a signal. And with the fact that Google can tell changes of a given URL, like the free version of revive might not work for so long. So if I know a lot of you guys are on the free version of revive, which is fine. All right. It's fine. But just, just pay for the rewrite. Trust me from my preliminary tests, revive.so still works, still works great. And the freshness of an article, the link, quote unquote, juice or power that is passed on is higher when the article is fresh. So what that means is you, if you have a PBN and you're, you post a link from your PBN to your site and that link is from 2017, if you simply refresh that, that link would be more juiced up than if you just left that 2017. So all in all, just install revive on your main sites, uh, especially if you're using them as PBNs. So that's all. That's my main takeaway. All right. Anyways, 
sorry, got, gets me riled up because when people tell me that dates didn't work, it's, I was like, I've done so many tests. I can, what that means is people who said it didn't work. You can simply ignore what they say because they obviously don't know what they're talking about. You can automatically omit everything that comes out of their mouth. And that's a lot of the industry. A lot of people said they didn't work. Like sh shut the hell up. All right. Anyways, domain registration info is stored from Google. What that means is we always suspected this, but this kind of concludes that domain age is actually a factor, which is kind of crazy uh, for them to, I mean, for us to figure that out. It's pretty juicy. Um, what else? Your money, your life specifically scored. It's like separated. Um, what that means is if you're selling supplements, um, they have certain classifiers for that. But from my test, as long as it's like an authoritative site, you're a okay. And we're still seeing that <laughs> Google, come on, man. Um, but yes, I can see it separately scored the, the queries on YMYL niches are a lot different from like best dog food storage. You know what I mean? And last but not least, certainly not least. Guys, this is just the beginning, all right? I might have to do a follow-up episode on this as things progress, but um, Google may be torching small sites on purpose. In the case, a site is small personal site. There's no definition. But then, you know, come on. It says score small personal site promotion and maybe they're tanking them. But how would you define a small personal site? Is it a personal blog like JackieChow.com? When you guys search Jackie Chow, you can find my personal blog. Is it is that one? Or is a small personal site something like Indexy, where, you know, maybe it doesn't get a ton of links. Uh, well, Indexy is like DR70, but do you know what I mean? So does that mean niche sites, small niche sites are dead? Like they can't simply compete unless they have an F load of links? I don't know. We have to figure that out in the coming days. Uh, but that's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed this, my interpre interpretation in layman's or layperson's terms, subscribe to me, like the video, please, and comment Google League for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and that's it. I'm not going to answer questions today. I'll answer them tomorrow, I promise. And that's it for t That's it. See you guys tomorrow.